The last wave of COVID-19 in Malaysia has peaked in September 2021 and the country is slowly recovering. This figure shows the decreasing trend of daily new cases since August 2021. This figure shows a decreasing trend of daily number of deaths. However, a new variant of COVID-19 virus known as Omicron has again put everybody on alert. This figure shows the distribution of various variants in Malaysia. To date, the most common types of variant is Delta. In this video, we will discuss about COVID-19 variants. Mutation will naturally happen to all living organisms including the COVID-19 viruses. Viruses that obtained new mutations will be known as variants. Most of the variants do not have much difference from the original viruses thus are not well known to the public. Variants will be categorized as variants of interest if they fulfill the following criteria. With genetic changes that may affect virus transmissibility, disease severity, immune escape, diagnostic or therapeutic escape. Cause significant community transmission in multiple countries, with increasing number of cases over time. To date, these are the variants of interest available. It should be noted that the classification of variants is not permanent, reclassification will happen when we know more about the impact of the variants to the public. For example, the variants known as Kappa, Iota and Eta have been downgraded from variant of interest status to variants under monitoring status. For variants that fulfill the criteria for VOI, if they also fulfill at least one of the following criteria, they will be categorized as variants of concern. Increase in transmissibility or detrimental epidemiology. Increase in virulence or change in clinical disease presentation. Decrease in effectiveness of public health and social measures or available diagnostics, vaccines, therapeutics. These are the VOC currently identified by WHO. Most of the mutations in VOI and VOC are on the spike protein because the spike protein is important for the entry of virus into the host cell. Besides, as most vaccine targets the spike protein, mutation in the spike protein can reduce the protection offered by vaccines. Among the VOC, the Delta variant first identified in India is the most well-known due to increased transmissibility and reduced effectiveness of vaccine. It should be noted that both the number and location of the mutation are important. For example, we can see that the number of mutation for Delta variants is almost similar to Alpha, Beta and Gamma variants. However, the transmissibility and impact brought by the Delta variant is much higher. Besides, from this figure we can understand why many scientists are concerned about the new Omicron variant. This variant has tripled the number of spike mutation compared with other variants and many of these mutations can be found in other variants including the Delta. Even though we still need much information to evaluate the impact of Omicron variant, many countries have took conservative and precautionary steps against it. The Omicron variant was first discovered in South Africa in early November 2021. A drastic increase of cases in South Africa's Gauteng province particularly in schools and among young people have been linked with the Omicron. Recent data shows that Omicron can spark explosive increase in COVID-19 cases, suggesting that Omicron may have even higher transmissibility than Delta. However, the Omicron also possesses mutation that allows it to be more easily detected and diagnosed. There are many questions that are unanswered regarding the Omicron, these are some examples. Can Omicron reduce vaccine effectiveness? There are reports of people contracting Omicron even though they are already vaccinated with either Pfizer, AstraZeneca or Johnson & Johnson, but we are not sure if the breakthrough rate is much higher than other variants. Can Omicron causes more severe or milder symptoms than other variants? Even though early reports show that most of the Omicron cases in South Africa are mild cases, it could be caused by the fact that most infected people are young population who were exposed to COVID-19 before. Hence, the Omicron may cause severe symptoms in a population that are mainly comprised of older population. Even though some health experts have recommended using the currently available vaccine as booster against Omicron, we lack evidence to prove that it is necessary and effective. As the story of Omicron has just started, we will provide more comprehensive details in future video when more scientific findings are revealed. If you enjoy the information that we share, Please like this video and subscribe to our channel so that you will be notified when our next video is ready. By giving us positive feedback, you will help to promote our videos so that more people will be able to receive correct information regarding COVID-19 and other health analytics. If you are interested in drugs and diseases, this is a course that we recommend. For more information, please scan the QR code or refer to the link in description.